Long before the list became history There's more to the man that meets the eye And if you ask me how I know, then I'll tell you why Blackwell was rapping since the day he was born Knocking down Brooklyn like a tropical storm On the day of his birth, in the year of 22 He told the head nurse, go fix your hair, do Mr. Blackwell Call him Mr. Blackwell Mr. Blackwell up and down and in and out, he knew his style was all about. So he set up shop in 58, designing black jersey at a wholesale rate. Next came the bees, then glitter for days. For the first time in years, he got a raise. But all wasn't well in the land of excess. So many didn't know how to wear a dress. These bombs exist. I'll start a list. I'll pick the 10 worst, but who'll be first? The fashion bunch was really rocking. What Blackwell said was way beyond shocking, Mr. Blackwell. Calling Mr. Blackwell. Mr. Blackwell rap. Mr. Blackwell Calling Mr. Blackwell The Blackwell rap. The Blackwell rap went on, you see Long after the list became history No star was safe from his acid punch From dumpy first wives to the ladies who lunch Fashion victims for the world to view We wondered if the queen planned the suit Between Barbara Goldie, Julie and Faye Liz, Betty and Simone Signore He covered the list He couldn't resist Making their day the Blackwell way But the public loves this rebel with a cause For 30 years, yo, he's been breaking the laws Mr. Blackwell Calling Mr. Blackwell Mr. Blackwell. Mr. Blackwell. Calling Mr. Blackwell. Mr. Blackwell. Welcome to the execution, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't this fun? Well, it was back in 1981 that I discovered that I was on Dick Blackwell's list. I always call him Dick. He likes it. Yes, it was 1981, and to my, I was called by a friend who said, you've made his list. He said, in knickers, her knees look like knockers. Is he right? Is he wrong? <laughs> to my horror, I discovered that I was not the top of the list. I was second to Barbara Mandrell, 25 years of classical training, and I have to come after a country singer. <laughs> I was horrified. Now, if living well is the best revenge, then surely roasting dick must be food for the gods. What does one say about a man who has infuriated more women than Warren Beatty, the Marquis de Sade, and Steve Garvey combined? <laughs> and all that standing up. Blackwell's dangerous liaisons were accomplished the old-fashioned way. Simple but effective slander. Mr. Blackwell is the self-appointed arbiter of good taste, better style, and unequaled National Enquirer coverage in the Western Hemisphere. He's been called the Tornado of 7th Avenue, the Typhoon of Women's Wear Daily, the Dorian Gray of Beverly Hills. He spent 30 years battling the fashion mob, and I prefer to think of him as the Elliot Ness of the sequin set. The lethal weapon of Chiffon City, he's battled Barbara, laid out Liz, devastated Dolly, guillotined Goldie, bit bet, rocked Rackwell and canned the Queen, and all before his morning cup of acid. Mr. Blackwell embroiders venom into his witty barbs, he beads his quips with arrogant wit, and never sows what he reaps until tonight. Back then, in 1981, I lovingly crafted a gift for my witty admirer. A particularly well-dressed voodoo doll with pins from Tiffany. <laughs> I felt a rush of excitement. Oh, forget Laurence Olivier, the theater, all those trivial pursuits. Infuriating Mr. Blackwell is the ticket to the top. Yes, looking horrendous has its rewards. After all, you're just a well-respected, well-adjusted, dedicated actress before a Blackwell bashing. But afterwards, you're a legend. <laughs> We've got lots of legends here tonight, some in person, some on video. And I assure you, they are all in a rage. But before we bring out the eloquent executioners, I think it is necessary to mention that Mr. Blackwell was a star of stage screen, and long before he graduated to bees, beads, bows, and being a bitch. <laughs> he was, as Curtis said, one of the original Dead End Kids, proving beyond a doubt, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that attitude existed before Shelley Winters, before Roseanne Barr, before Zsa, Zsa Gabor. By the way, Zsa, Zsa Gabor has a new bumper sticker. It says, have you slapped your cop today? <laughs> Our 
friend Dick demanded Perrier before it existed. And he was the first actor shot from the left side only. After all, only one bullet was all it took. Later, he joined the Universal Cattle Corps, but as unbelievable as this sounds, he wasn't suited to play the boy next door. Isn't that funny? And, and was put out to moat. Then came Howard Hughes, who cast him in a movie called Vendetta. The picture was shot five times. It's still bombed, but Blackwell took the title to heart and began designing. He yearned to be the Picasso of pizzazz, but had to settle for Queen of Orange County. <laughs> Now, the tide turns, the fun begins. Dearest Dick, ich liebe Dick. Why don't you come up here and join me if you dare? Stand right. <laughs> now, no, Dick, I, no, oh, no, no, no we're not going to let you get the microphone, dear. Are you your wits? You will stand, sit, stand, stay. Let the axes fall where they may, because silence may be golden, but revenge is forever. So, vendetta or not, let the execution begin. In 1986, he called me an exploding toothpaste tube. <laughs> A wrinkled one at that. <laughs> After prying my lame wedgies from the living room wall, I decided to sit down and consider the source. Wrinkles are something you well know about. <laughs> He's had more nips and tucks than Frankenstein. So many, in fact, he sleeps with his eyes open. <laughs> A condition that comes in handy in his social circuit. <laughs> Say, you haven't written your worst dress list for 1989 yet, have you? But I'm determined to make it. You will. <laughs> I didn't know the high holidays came this early. Hello there. You should only look like that. They asked me to read a couple of wires. They're honoring Mr. Blackwell. Mr. Blackwell, for all you've done for Israel, 200 trees will be planted in the National Forest. Your days to water them are Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> Another wire. Now that you have been done over in so many places, would love to use you in my next video, sign Rob Lowe. You know, this guy, it's been mentioned that he's had, I don't know how many facelifts, he's been nipped, he's been tucked. And that's why I really took the pictures. So I'd make sure I knew who in the hell we were on. <laughs> he has an eye for fashion. So did Helen Keller, Ray Charles, and Alec Templeton. A special announcement, the door prize tonight is a white Rolls Royce impounded by the Beverly Hills Police. In 25 words or less, you will write down who do you believe and why, Dan Quayle, Mayor Bradley, or Zsa, Zsa Gabor. Another wire, Mr. Blackwell, from your friend Roman Polanski. Wanted to be with you tonight, but I'm in Paris awaiting the birth of my new bride. <laughs> uh, 
Another wire from Ed McMahon. You may already be a winner. I go back a long time with Mr. Blackwell because we were constantly together on many talk shows. I believe we did possibly together 15 Mike Douglas shows together, possibly 22 shows together with Merv Griffin. And I want to tell you something about this man. I remember things about him that very few people know. One in particular, during the hot spell here in Los Angeles, he sat in front of a refrigerator with the doors open, completely nude, until Sears told him to get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Blackwell, another wire. We're so damn glad your dinner is being held at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel, signed the Beverly Hilton. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What a joy it is being included this evening. I put it on a par with fallen arches, at the very least. You know, so many of the stars Blackwell has annihilated over the years wanted to send a video clip tonight, but for one lie or another, they were unable to participate. I am more than happy to bring a little pain into the proceedings. As a dancer, I know a hell of a lot about kicks, and I plan to administer a few tonight. Not in the air, mind you. Mm-mm. Blackwell's posterior is my target of choice. Suddenly, Can Can has a whole new meaning, and I love it. <laughs> yes, my dragon of delight, a good kick is exactly what you need. That, and to be forced to wear Lisa Bonet's nose ring for the rest of your life. Oh, thank you, Juliet. She's as understated and diplomatic as always, isn't she? I'm a bit worried about, darling, you've a little dick, dear, on your mark, come on. Stand on your mark. We're all a bit worried about you backstage, looking a bit peaky, so I brought out some blush for you. That's better, thank you. Right, now, speaking of understated, no one wanted to upset our man of the hour tonight by not appearing. So we have, through the magic of video, a veritable smorgasbord of clips from many of the lucky list makers themselves. Honest, loving, thoughtful, and inspirational emotions expressed by one and all when they found out that they were on the list. So. Let the love fest begin. Fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy night. Oh, God, I tell you, wait till I get my hands on that little pot. Ah! I said she looked like the rebirth of the Zeppelin. As the years flowed on, Elizabeth didn't improve, but managed to defy my taste in thinking she had bad taste. And who could forget in 1980, forever amber in drag. And finally, in 1981, I gave up and I think she did too. I said, 